All right, guys, you've been asking for it. Now, this is the Kugu G-Boost scooter. We're here to test it out for you today. Let's get cracking. So the current cost for the G Booster scooter is £890 and that is half the recommended retail price. So we've ridden on a couple of different terrains now and from what I can make out with this thing straight away, it is so capable and it is so powerful. My goodness! Yeah, that is fast. Yeah, that is fast. So we've got a pretty steep hill here in front of us guys, we're going to give this a go now and see what the capability of this scooter is like when it's trying to tackle my weight plus 30 kilograms of scooter. I'm 17 and a half stone and this is full power. So there's a few things I want to talk about guys. Now the first time I rode this scooter, I didn't really know what to expect, but the amount of power and torque from those two motors blew my mind. The second thing I would have thought people would want to know is, does it feel stable to ride? And I can answer that and say, yes, it does. It's very safe, it's very strong, and it feels very, very well made. This really is a fantastic scooter guys and if you're looking for one of these you should definitely shortlist it. What you see is what you get with this electric scooter and it truly is a brilliant transportation method for this electric era. Now, aside from what the specs say on the website, this scooter can travel a long, long distance on one charge. I'm always running on dual motors, always on speed mode three, and I've had a good 20 miles on a round trip on this scooter with still 50% battery remaining. Now to put that 
into perspective, the scooter and myself combined are 135 kilos. That's a heck of a lot of weight for 20 miles. Now this scooter is quite heavy, it weighs 30 kilograms. So what that means is if you live upstairs in some flats or apartments, it is quite difficult to get it up and down the stairs. Oh baby! Woohoo! Oh baby! I suppose the next thing to mention will be the tyres because they do seem to be very grippy. They're very capable in different terrains. I've been on grass, tarmac, gravel, loose dirt, everything you can think of. And so far, they've been absolutely fantastic. Now you might wonder what I'm doing here. After each ride of this scooter, I will wipe it over with a cloth just to keep it in the best condition possible. So this electric scooter is supposed to have dual 800 watt motors. However, on the wheel hubs themselves, the motors report a different story. If we look behind the disc brake just there, it has written text and it says quite clearly, 48 volts, 1,200 watts. So that could probably explain why this scooter feels so torquey even with my weight on it. So guys, what you're getting here is actually better value for money because you're getting a 2400 watt scooter at a 1600 watt price tag. So when it comes to mileage, I want to be as honest as possible. I don't really know what you can expect to achieve because it depends on a lot of variables. I do feel very fortunate that Kugu allowed me to film this video for you guys today. Now the top speed of this scooter is 55 kilometers an hour and I can actually reach that whilst riding it. Now you guys may or you may not remember, I actually fell off here on the Kugu S1 Pro. Let's see if the G-Booster can make it down and more importantly, back up again. Can it make it back up though? <laughs> the motors seem to apply power gradually. So that's why when we're going up the hill, you can hear the motors winding up and they're unleashing the full 800, or should I say 1200 watts of power? Hmm. Watch this. Much 
slope, it will spin up the hill. It's a great scooter. This scooter has really impressed me guys. It's worth every penny. The one thing I wish it had was cruise control because you're often trying to regulate the speed. It really does progressively pull harder and harder all the way to 55 kilometers an hour. wear one of these emergency crash hats for your own safety. Now this scooter offers three riding modes and single or dual motors. I found for me mode 2 and mode 3 with dual motors enabled gave me the best experience on different environments. There's a little jump here, I'm going to try and get some air. Now I want to thank Kugu for sending me this awesome scooter of theirs for review and testing today in this wild adventure video. What people probably don't know is the scooter builds power gradually. It doesn't just slam it in your back and you're off. Although, if you're a lighter, it probably would. Now, Geek Buying is Kugu's primary distributor, so there'll be a link down below for them. And you can also pick this scooter up on Amazon, so there'll be a link down below for that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time for some more fun. See you later on, guys.